If you'd like to create a professional looking intro to your video, today I'll show you how to create one of these animated text masks using Keynote and iMovie. The first step is to go into Keynote and to select your theme. Then select a wide format. This will make the frame the same size as your video. Keynote will open up with a few text boxes as if you're making a title slide. Get rid of the subtitle. Then, select the main text box and type in your text to animate. You can press return for multiple lines. Select the text box and make it full screen. Otherwise, Keynote will restrict the text size, and we want to make it very large. Now, select your font. I like Impact because it's nice and blocky. Center it vertically. Set the color to green. We will use iMovie green screen a little bit later, so we need green text. Set a large font size. I find something around 500 or 600 points works pretty well. Shrink down the line spacing. This will reduce the black space between the lines. We want a lot of the video to show through, so we want to minimize that line spacing. Readjust your centering vertically. I adjusted the text box size to do this in this case. Now we'll make the font even bigger to fill the frame. Now we're ready to animate. First we'll select our built-in animation. We're going to use swoosh today. Set the timing for the desired duration. In this case we're looking to make an intro about 10 seconds long. Next, set the action animation. We're going to use a pop. Next, set the action duration. We'll use 4 seconds. Now it's time to do the build out animation. We'll use skid. Set its duration, about 4 seconds. Now we'll get rid of any click that might be required to transition the slide animations. Now we're ready to export to QuickTime. We'll use the 1080p format for maximum resolution. Name the file. Use something easy to find, like your desktop. All right. Now we'll minimize our exit keynote and bring up iMovie. I already have a clip in place. We'll import the animated green text. Drag it onto the timeline on top of the clip. We're going to overlay the animated text on top of the clip. Do any required trimming on the ends. With the animation, sometimes things are too small at the very beginning or the very end. Slide it over to eliminate any gaps. Trimming the end. Select the overlay and set green screen. Sometimes iMovie does not show the text through a green screen and you can use the eraser to select the color that's transparent. Voila! Play back the animation and tweak timing as needed. And there we have an animated text mask overlay. Please like and or subscribe to my channel. I don't make a lot of these iMovie videos, and if you're interested in seeing more, just let me know what topics you're interested in.